Hey train enthusiasts! Train Valley World released a major update to give the players that extra challenge. The signal mode update. So let's take a look at what's in the update and how it works. To get started, the signal slash normal mode option will pop up at the start of every campaign session. You can also toggle at the top of the campaign level selection map too. Enabling it will disable the train ghosting and enable train collisions and signal building. Signals. You can use signals to divide rails into sections and place a signal at the section's exit to make it one way. You can click on the signal again to change its direction or remove it. Hover the cursor over a signal to highlight its section whilst you're in the signal placing mode. This way you can see what direction the section allows your train to move in. The signal will then turn red if the section of the rails behind it is occupied by a train. Just make sure to set up the train tracks in a loop so the trains can turn around. Turning trains around at the station is a separate toggleable setting that is available in both modes and can be changed anytime, including mid-level. Find a new checkbox under settings, gameplay. Use two-way signals for intersections or branch lines that only one train will use. If you forget to use signals in signal mode, you'll end up with crashes, explosions, and of course, lose your train. But don't worry, if the trains are stuck at a signal, you can use the drive here button to redirect them or start to ignore the signal. We also added four additional levels to try. Get your history caps on for these. Three levels are a blend of several locations connected with one theme. The Ford Company, an introduction of conveyor belts. Hollywood and movie production. Philadelphia Experiment. Then there's Turin's aviation industry rising and contributing to Fiat's latest success. That's all we have for you today, train enthusiasts. Head over to Steam right now to update Train Valley World and experience the update for yourself.